Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to get started today. Uh, the cat is annoying the crap out of me again, as usual. Say hi, Pixie. Say hi. No, she ain't going to do it. Anyway, let's see what our daily poll is today. And here we go. Well, maybe. And it is, have you ever made an important decision with a coin flip? I am going to have to shamefully admit, yes, yes, I have done that before. And, well, I'm in a minority on that one. Good to know. That probably wasn't the best method of making a decision. And let's check out our test your smarts today. All right, do it. Take control. For now. Today. Today it looks like how many adults report daily loneliness according to new survey. Hmm. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna say it's probably one in five. I was right. What what did a DNA study reveal about Christopher, the explorer Christopher Columbus? He was part African. He was born in England. Uh, he, I, I, that one probably, the Jew thing. Yep, I kind of figured. It was, they were sprinkled through Europe at the time. So, yeah, that, that was not a big, you know, <laughs> big guess there. Yeah. Which NBA legend became the first three-time Hall of Fame inductee? I'm going to go with Michael... Oh, well, I'm not Michael, but Magic Johnson, maybe? Let's see. Oh, no. I missed that one. Jerry West. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know who Jerry West is. I, I'm not familiar with him. So, let's see. And let's see. Electric Guitar History. I have a buddy that well, this one would probably been very interesting. He is a he has his own band and everything, so he probably liked this. Don't know much about electric guitars, but if you want to look up the history of them, uh, the link today is right here. It tells the history. So, yes, yes. Nee. Let's get to our search for the day. And let's see what the headlines are bringing us. And let's see what the headlines are bringing us. Preliminary cause of death. Yeah, somebody, one of my writers asked about this yesterday. They were talking about this guy. Uh, let's see. The preliminary causes of death. Uh, let's open the article and take a look and see what it says. I don't usually open articles too much, but this is USA Today. Let's see what they say. After falling from his third floor balcony, uh, polytrauma, external, external and internal hemorrhaging. Yeah, uh, yeah, you fell off the th third floor balcony. I would think so. Yeah. The circumstances surrounding this said that they at least translated Spanish and English, Spanish to English, but prosecutors believe Payne was alone when the fall occurred. Well, he's been suffering. Hmm, you got a spot there. Okay. He's been suffering from alcoholism. It's hard to say. He probably. Oh, okay. Well, that looks like they. Uh, there was a call that somebody was under the influence of uh, drugs or alcohol or and alcohol, and they were called when they called for help. So, yeah, that sucks. I liked One Direction, to be honest. I mean, I know I'm a guy, but I still kind of like their music. Let's go ahead and close that one. That was extremely depressing. Uh, here's a new one. What's this? Retiring after 15 seasons. UVA basketball, Tony Brett, uh, Brennett's retirement opens transfer portal for 30 days huh. well he's been 15 seasons I, I that's fine he 
he probably worked a long time before that too so you can't expect these people to work their whole lives I mean good lord Let's see if there's any other new ones here uh, yeah I saw something about this one earlier uh, all the evidence in his uh, January 6 uh, trial is being released to the public and being used in ads against him as it should be I'm sorry you committed crimes dude and evidence should be available to the American people before we make a decision now this is an interesting one uh, on today in history in 1851 let's see what's happened in 1851 Moby Dick the well in a 1851 novel in by American writer Herman Melville I didn't know that. Hmm. So it was uh, 1851 when that came out. Wow, that thing has survived the times, that's for sure. Just goes to show a good story will survive about anything. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I thank you guys for watching. Pixie also thanks you for watching. Say hi, Pixie, or say bye. Yeah. You guys have a good day. Nice <laughs> is the tour de Pittsburgh. I felt like making them walk or run would be too much of a cliche.